Hi, I'm Sonia and welcome to today's lesson. Well, if you are someone who wants to learn English and become really good at it, then you have come to the right place. As you can see on the board, we're going to do a lesson today on how to talk about problems. Well, yes, problems are something that all of us face and somehow or the other we manage to find a solution. However, talking about problems doesn't really have to always be so boring, like, well, I have a problem and I'm facing so many problems. We can make that interesting as well, and that's what I'm here for. So let's begin. The very first phrase that I have for you is, talk over, okay? Now, talk over means to discuss something or to discuss a problem. Let me write that down. To discuss a problem or maybe an issue. So say for example, if you are a working person and uh, you've noticed that in your department, recently there have been certain issues or certain problems which need to be highlighted. So what do you tell your manager? You can tell them that we need to talk over the problems that our department is facing these days. So to talk over, remember, means to discuss a problem or to discuss a situation. The next one we have here is quite interesting, I must say. It says wrestle with. What does wrestle mean? Wrestle means to fight, right? But that's not what we're doing here. Wrestle means to try and find a solution to a difficult situation or a difficult problem or to make a difficult decision. Many a times we do come across situations where we really need to make a difficult decision. So that's when you can use the phrase wrestle with. Let me write that down. To make a difficult decision all right or to kind of solve a difficult problem let me give you a situation say you've just graduated from college all right and uh, obviously there are so many career options available for you now this is going to be a very difficult decision to make and very important too, right? So that's when you're going to use this phrase, wrestle with. So maybe you can tell your friend that since the time I have graduated from college, I'm constantly wrestling with the various career options that I have. Wrestle. Wrestle means to make a difficult decision. And then we have to run up against, <laughs> okay? What do we mean to run up against? That means to suddenly come across a very unexpected difficulty. All right, let me write that down. To come across an unexpected difficulty. Okay, so let's see. Let me give you this situation. It's a little different, but I'm sure you will understand. Say if you're someone who handles events, all right, like parties, etc., and you've been doing it for a very long time now, and it all always goes well. Recently, you've also bought a brand new sound system which works really good. You've tested it and everything's great. But on the day of the event, suddenly you realize that the sound system has no volume whatsoever and that is bad for a party, right? So that is a problem which is an unexpected difficulty. You didn't expect that to happen because you've just bought it and it's, it works so well. So in a sentence you could say, on the day of the event, we ran up against a huge issue with the sound system, okay? I've used the past tense of run, which is ran, past tense. Next one here, to think through. What does it mean to think through? 
It means to think of the possible results or the consequences of something that you do or maybe an action that you take. Okay, let me write that down. To think about the results or the consequences of an action or a decision. Now say for example, if you have decided to move out of your country, maybe for studies or to pursue a career, alright. Now obviously moving to another country is a huge decision and quite permanent as well. It affects you, your families, your friends, your finances, everything. Now if you want to take a decision like that, you really need to think about the results or the consequences of what you are doing. So if I would be your friend, I would say to you, you know what John, you really need to think through your decision of moving abroad, okay? Next we have to sort out. To sort out means to solve, okay? To sort out means to solve a problem or some kind of a tough situation. So if you remember in my very first example I said that the person working in the department wanted to talk over the issues with his manager. So they spoke about it and they try to sort out the problems. Okay, to sort out means to solve a problem or solve a tough situation. In a sentence possibly you could say that these days we are facing a lot of financial issues and you really need to sort them out. Next one here, knuckle down. These are your knuckles, okay. Knuckle down means to work harder or to work very hard. Now say if you are a businessman, okay, you, your business is in the line of clothing. Now obviously we have a very competitive market these days and if you want to stay in business, you need to knuckle down any kind of problems that you have and work really hard. So that's what it means to knuckle down. In a sentence you could say, well competition is really tough these days and we need to knuckle down all of our problems. Next one here, to run into, okay. To run into means to suddenly come across, all right. To suddenly come across. So say if you're hosting maybe a birthday party for your friend and you've been planning this since many weeks now, everything's in place and when the party is on on that particular day, suddenly you realize that you didn't really count the number of guests properly and now you have lesser food which is absolutely not a good thing, right? So it's something that you suddenly came across, a sudden problem. It's something that you ran into. So if I was in that place, I could say, well, I had planned everything so well, but I suddenly ran into shortage of food. Okay, I suddenly came across a problem with the food. I use the past tense of run as ran. And I'm sure I wouldn't want to be in that spot at all. Trust me. <laughs> The final one here, to deal with. To deal with means to try and manage something, okay. Let's write that down. To manage a problem or a tough situation. So you know when you have to deal with customers, if you're a business person, you'll always have all kinds of customers. Not everyone is really nice, right? However, if you need to run a successful business, you need to learn to deal with all kinds of problems and all kinds of customers, all right? So in a sentence, I could say, well, um, our business is running really well 
and I'm sure one of the reasons is that we deal with different customers and different problems extremely well. All right. So yeah, here we have these really easy and simple to use phrases to talk about problems. I hope that you found them helpful. I'll be back soon with something more interesting. Till then, you take care of yourself and keep smiling. Goodbye.